Hello and welcome everybody. Thor is one of the strongest Marvel superheroes in the MCU and Marvel comics. And he seems pretty much invincible. So how do you go about killing the god of thunder? In this video, we are going to discuss exactly that. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. First, let's address the question, are Asgardians immortal? Is there a way to kill a normal Asgardian? And the answer to that we get in Thor the Dark World, when Odin and Loki are discussing Loki's action during the first Avengers movie. Loki explains to Odin that he didn't want to kill the humans, rather he just wanted to rule the earth as a benevolent god. To this Odin replies, we are not gods, we are born, we live, we die, just as humans do. So that pretty much clears it up, that as guardians are not timeless, they live very long by our standards, but they do die of old age. Further, we saw Hela kill quite a few Asgardian soldiers and she even said she could kill Thor. As to how long normal Asgardians live, we get an answer to that when Loki replies back to Odin, give or take 5000 years. And we know that Thor is currently 1500 years old in the MCU, so he's pretty young by normal Asgardian terms. In Thor Ragnarok, we see Odin fade away in the ether, but something even more interesting happens when Thor fights Surtur and asks him didn't Odin kill him some half a million years ago. So which one is it? Was Odin millions of years old or was he just some thousands of years old? Here we are so concerned with how long did Odin live because that helps us understand how long will Thor probably live. So we turn to the comics for some answers. In Marvel comics, Odin was a part of the Avengers team in 1 million BC and even then he looked pretty old. So by that standard, he is already millions of years old. We even see the old King Thor live long enough to see the end times of the universe and he even says that he is too old and no Asgardian was meant to live this long. And since this is the time when stars are dying and the universe itself is at its end, it must be that old King Thor is billions of years old at that point. So probably the All Father can live much longer than normal Asgardians. So waiting for Thor to die of old age, now that he has the Odin force, both in the movies and comics is not going to work, although it is possible if you are patient enough. But let's just move on to a more feasible way of sending Thor to his makers, and Deadpool is here to show us how to get it done. In the storyline, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, we see Deadpool using the pin particles to increase the size of Mjolnir and when the Mjolnir comes back to Thor, it ends up killing him. I must say, that was quite a plan on Deadpool's side. So high enough forces and impact will do the job. And in the first Avengers movie, Loki tells Thor that he won't survive the fall. And by the looks of Thor, it seemed that there was a truth to it. However, both of these versions of Thor didn't have the Odin Force. Being the all-father and the wielder of Odin Force makes Thor incredibly more powerful. And it would be obvious to assume that what can kill normal Thor would probably be not enough to kill the all-father Thor, so we need something more powerful than that. So why not bring the big guns and see what Galactus can do? Well, in the recent Thor vs Galactus storyline, the link to which will be the upper right corner, we see Thor take on all the powers of Galactus and kill him with ease. So we need something way more powerful than Galactus and Power Cosmic. And this is where the Beyonders come in because they are one of the very few beings who can and have killed Thor in the comics. It was during the Incursion event when the Beyonders were killing the Marvel's multiverse and they had already killed Living Tribunal along with many powerful cosmic entities. To stop the Beyonders, Thor assembles a team to bring down the Beyonders, but this team proves no match for the mighty Beyonders as they all end up getting killed, including Thor. And believe it or not, it was Doctor Doom of all people who ends up defeating these Beyonders with the help of Doctor Strange of course and Molecule Man who was the key to this whole thing. And I have a video on Doctor Doom's powers, again the link will be in the upper right corner. So this shows us that powerful multiversal beings like the Beyonders, the Great Black Winter can definitely kill all Father King Thor. But there has also been times when Thor has ended up losing all his powers as he did in the first Thor movie. And in times like this, Thor is merely a mortal, and anything that can kill a human can probably also kill Thor. But how do you take all the powers from a god? Well, Rogue the Mutant 
does that in the comics. But again, that thought didn't have the Odin force. So I don't think draining powers from All Father King Thor is going to work either. To kill All Father King Thor, we need someone who is on a whole new power scale like the Beyonders. And that is the only reliable way to do it. Let me know in the comments if you think there is another way. And with that, we'll bring this video to an end. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.